In this video net interview at IBC 2013, we're speaking with Emma Scott, Managing Director of FreeSat. Hello, Emma. Hello. Uh, your next generation FreeSat platform has been well received by users. Uh, what impact is it having on how they watch television and what they watch? It has been very well received. Uh, we've sold lots of boxes. And uh, I think the main thing is we did an awful lot of research looking into how people really wanted to consume their television. And what was very obvious is they wanted in one place both traditional linear television, which is what most viewing is about, but catch-up TV, which is a, you know, particularly uh, popular in the UK, was tended to be in a different place, you had to go into a different menu, and equally if you wanted recordings to be able to search, they were quite sort of difficult to find in old um, electronic programme guides. So what we tried to do is bring into one place all of those factors, and you know, through a home screen, be able to put them there. And I think the big difference has been that people are using Catch Up and the Backwards TV Guide a lot more. Um, and we've got a showcase TV recommendation service, which is at the heart of the TV Guide. And people are using that a lot to choose what they want to watch that night. Can we assume that nearly all customers buying the FreeSat box are plugging it into the broadband? Yes, you can. Uh, over 90% of uh, people who've bought the free time boxes have plugged them in, which we're absolutely delighted about. Obviously, you can just watch regular television and not plug the box in. You don't have to to make it work. But I think what that shows is that people are recognising the value that you can get if you do, because you do get the showcase recommendations of what's on that night. You get the backwards TV guide, and obviously you get the catch-up players in totality. Uh, and when our mobile app to be able to remote record and um, remote control launches later this year, using having it connected to IP means that you'll be able to use that functionality in full. Interesting. So you, you launched with the DVR and yesterday you announced uh, a standard set-top box Zapper version of FreeTime. Uh, what difference will this uh, Zapper box have on the uptake of the new platform? The big difference is price. I mean it's going to be under £100, the Zapper box. Uh, it's you know state-of-the-art technology beautiful TV guide. Uh, obviously you don't get recording in it, but what you do get is all the other features of free time. So you get this lovely TV guide, the backwards T EPG, this showcase recommendations, search and so forth. And what we all know from catch up viewing is most of it's done within 24 hours of the programme being aired. So if you're not in the mode to series stack or want to record, you know, a whole series of The Good Wife, for example, uh, what the Zapper box will allow you to do is have many of the benefits, in fact, almost all the benefits of the original free time box but without recording and so if you want to have it on your main set or in a second room or even students for example might want to have it in their student flat it's a really low cost but high quality alternative. Okay and another landmark for the platform was the arrival of YouTube uh, made for TV and built in HTML5. You made a big decision to put HTML at the, the heart of the platform why did you do that? We were absolutely delighted that YouTube chose to launch their first HTML5 player in Europe with us. Uh, we worked really hard with them to, to get it working. In fact, it actually only took six weeks to do the work and deploy it. HTML5, the decision around it was, it was a tough one a couple of years ago, because you remember when you're building a TV platform like this, it, it doesn't sort of happen overnight. And we looked very hard about what was happening globally with standards. And what we wanted to do was try and leapfrog. Um, you know, set-top box technology lags behind PC, um, tablet technology, but we wanted to try and get as close to that as possible because people increasingly are used to that type of smart behaviour. So uh, basically, we looked around, worked out what was the best options, and HTML5 was a breaking standard at the time. We adopted it, we made the right choice. We are you know, one of the leading TV platforms to have uh, you know, chosen it first. And what it means is, for, for us in terms of um, economies of scale for our manufacturers, we've chosen a path which means they can use it in other territories, uh, so that you know, it's a barrier to entry removed. But for the broadcasters as well, they um, are now beginning to produce players and technology for broadcast in HTML5, which means for them the cost will be lower and it's one of those build bonds to deploy forever. Okay, and YouTube has got a, a great companion experience like browsing, uh, making playlists on your mobile uh, to watch on the main TV. Does this help um, the platform appeal to a younger audience? Yes, I mean, I think their, their app's brilliant. Um, you know, I've used it a number mm -hmm. of times and it's, it, it's a really good, fun thing to do. And I think what it does is it brings that smart technology right into the TV space, which, which really hasn't happened. Uh, it's been a bit slow to take off. Um, I think it absolutely appeals to younger people, but, you know, I'm not that young, I use it. It's one of those mm -hmm. things that, it, it, you know, when you, when you get hooked on it, 
and you realise that you can control a TV via you know, a, a much more intuitive um, device than a clunky old remote control, bluntly, you do realise the possibilities. And for us, obviously, we've made it work with YouTube, but we're launching our own mobile app, which will control the TV and allow you to remote record as well. OK, finally, um, where are you with your companion app? And including the program guide and remote PBR. Uh, well, we're very excited about it. It's going to launch later this year. Uh, it's looking fantastic. We've got a beta version going at the moment. Uh, it's going to be free uh, to download. We hope people who are both free set customers and non-free set customers use it because over half of uh, the hits to our website are people that want to know what's on FreeSat that night. So the ability on a, on a really intuitive smart device to be able to look up uh, what to watch that night, set to record, is a kind of given and we know that people want that. What I find very exciting is the ability to control the TV via a smart device, a tablet or an iPhone or Android device as well. And I think that's going to be amazing. Watching that in the States a couple of years ago was one of those eureka moments for me and I was determined that we were going to be able to do that for our customers. Uh, it just makes sense. I think it's a, it's a first step in what will be a very exciting mobile strategy for us. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it launching. Okay, that's an excellent place to leave it. Thank you very much for your time, Emma. Thank you.